At different times, in different locations and in different climates, human civilizations have grown fruits and vegetables. With time, they became important trade goods and so spread around the world. Today we are able to choose from dozens of different fruits and vegetables in the supermarket just around the corner. That is why we got curious about the historical origins of some of the world's most eaten fruits and vegetables. Let's start! Tomato Against the common belief, the tomato is a fruit and not a vegetable. So let's look for its origin. We have the world map just in front of us with Africa in the very center. From there we go left, which is west, crossing the Atlantic Oceans and heading slightly south. We're getting closer and here we are, map down. The tomato originated in the area of Western South and Central America around 2500 years ago. Today we have more than 10,000 different types of tomatoes varying in size, color and flavor. Banana. The banana is officially classified as a berry. I don't know about you, but when I think about bananas, berries would not cross my mind. Anyways, let's look for its origin. So again, we have the world map in front of us. Starting from Africa again, this time we go to the right, which is the east, passing the Indian Ocean and also heading slightly south towards Australia. And the banana is mapped down. But do you actually have an idea which country this island just above Australia is? It is Papua Neu Guinea, and where bananas initially appeared sometime between 6500 and 10,000 years ago. And even though most of us only know the one type of banana, I want to let you know that more than 1000 different types are growing around the world. Potato. It's one of the world's most eaten vegetables and consists of around 80% of water. But where does the potato come from? Let's map it down. Again we are going southwest, but this time a bit further south than before when we mapped down the tomato. And here we are pretty much in the center of South America. More precisely it is the area of Peru and Bolivia, where the first potatoes popped up approximately 7 to 10,000 years ago. Today we have more than 4,000 different types of potatoes and find them in lots of different foods like french fries, chips or gnocchi. Strawberry. The strawberry is not a real berry. I know this is getting confusing. The tomato is not a vegetable, the banana is a berry, the potato is mainly water and now the strawberry is not even a berry. However, let's look for its origin. Alright, this time we go up north towards Europe, crossing the Mediterranean Sea and we have arrived. Strawberries indeed come from Europe, first found in the woods of northern Italy and and France during the time of the early Roman Empire. More than 2500 years later, still everyone likes them. The watermelon is probably the world's most massive fruit. The heaviest ever reported one weighed 159 kg, which is the weight of two grown up human beings. But where was the first watermelon found? Let's see. So this time we stay on the African continent and all we do is to move a bit to the west because Western Africa is known to be the origin of watermelons. Around 1000 to 2000 BC was the time the first watermelons popped up on African soil. Today we have more than 1000 varieties, some heavier than others. The orange, our preferred fruit to make juice. So it's not surprising that we consume 80% of our oranges in its liquid form. But where did the fruit originate from? Let's map it down. We go east, but this time we stay pretty much above the equator, looking like good old China, right? Yes. More precisely, we are now at the border area of China and northern India, or where the first oranges were found 400 years BC. Today there are more than 600 varieties of the fruit. Comparing this to other fruits of this video, this is a very disappointing low number. It takes pineapples around 18 to 20 months to become ready to harvest, which is double the time of a healthy human pregnancy. Let's map it down. It looks like we are going back to South America, but this time we stay closer to the Atlantic coast. And here we are. Any idea where we exactly are? It is the border area of Brazil and Paraguay. We don't have an idea about the time the fruit initially appeared, 
but just know that Christopher Columbus first reported it in 1493. And for your information, if you talk about the pineapple in any other language than English, just call it ananas and you will probably be safe. Broccoli. Children usually don't like it. So if you are younger than 15 years old, you can skip this part of the video. For all the others, let's look for its origin. We are going back north and right into the Mediterranean area. That is where the broccoli is believed to have first appeared in 600 BC. Some family members of the broccoli are the cauliflower, the kale and the cabbage. Or just other vegetables children tend not to like. The apple. The forbidden fruit which we all like. Let's map it down. And once again we are going east. Looks like going back to China. Indeed. More precisely we are now in the Tian Shan mountain area of China. The area the apple first appeared between 4 and 10,000 years ago. Before it traveled along the Silk Road to Europe. Pretty impressive is the fact of its more than 8,000 varieties. Carrots were first grown for medical reasons rather than food. So let's diagnose its origin and map it down. That's a tough one. Although we have found carrot seeds in Central Europe dating back to 3000 BC, we still believe its actual origin lies in the area of Iran and Afghanistan. And although we know carrots to be orange, they also grow in purple, red, white and yellow. Corn or called mice in many languages other than English. Let's map it down. To the west, across the Atlantic Ocean again, but this time we stay a bit more north and approaching Central America for the first time. And here we are. Corn was initially documented 10,000 years ago in the area which nowadays is known as Mexico. It is also one of the most consumed vegetables worldwide. We can find corn in more than 3,500 different food products. Pea. The truth is that I don't really like peas, so let's make this a quick one, okay? The pea originated in Middle Asia and the Mediterranean basin during the 3rd century BC. Other than me, the Romans seemed to like peas very much and already grew them in 37 different varieties. That was more than 2000 years ago. Lemon. We all know the saying, when life gives you a lemon, make lemonade. But to which area of the world do we owe this saying and the fruit? Let's look into it. We are going east. Wait, the area looks familiar, doesn't it? Exactly, it is the same area where the oranges were first found. The border area of China and northern India. Avocado. Did you know that you can substitute butter with avocado? Let's map it down. We go west towards America. Like the corn, also the avocado comes originally from Mexico. First grown by Mesoamerican civilizations roughly 10,000 years ago. But why can we substitute butter with an avocado? It's simple, because the avocado contains more fat than any other fruit or vegetable worldwide. So that's enough for this video. I know that many other fruits and vegetables would have deserved to be part of this video. But let's recap what we have. Fruits and vegetables have grown on all continents ever since. Through emerging trade routes, local fruits became global and more available. Today we are lucky to be able to choose from a wide variety and eat them whenever we want, as long as we like them. So let us know the fruit and vegetable you don't like in the comments and see you in the next video. Peace out.